So Kili listed on the stock exchange Feb 10 last year, 2022. We floated on the back of four exploration projects. So we're a mineral exploration company and we're exploring for gold, copper and rare earths. Four assets are based in WA and Queensland. Flagship projects being the West Tanamo, uh, up in the Kimberley of WA, looking for gold rare earths and over in uh, Queensland at the Ravenswood North project, which is a gold and copper project, looking for intrusive style um, systems. We raised $6 million, we issued 30 million shares. Uh, we're tightly held at 52 million shares. It's the ex Cassini group, which consists of Richard Bevan, Greg Miles, Philip Warren, um, and myself. We've had a really busy 12 months since float. We've just cracked over 12 months. In the first 10 months, we got out on two of our projects. So we got out to the Kimberley, to the West Tanami. We completed 1,000 square kilometres of airborne magnetics, the 10,000 metre air core program, and we completed a 900 metre deep diamond pole as part of the exploration incentive scheme with the WA government. We also got out to Ravenswood North. We did two geochemical programs on the surface there, generated two gold and copper intrusive targets and completed our first drill program over in Queensland, an RC program of five drill holes into the target at Rocky. Uh, we also completed some geophysical work out at Ravenswood North and that processing data came back recently. So it's got, given us some real insight into the intrusive target there. So we're really excited to get out and specifically drill uh, with our five remaining holes. The company is really well structured. We only have 52 million shares on offer. We're going out drilling again and our projects are in really in well endowed mineral systems. Our Ravenswood project, which we're drilling on the next few weeks, is within a 28 million ounce gold province in near Charters Towers in Ravenswood. We feel we understand the, the prospect there and we're really excited to get going on the ground again.